my video here gonna be about Carl Weathers, rest in peace. I'm gonna do it in full because I did a mini one. He did what you're supposed to do. He created an alter ego with Apollo Creed, which made him a household name. And then it's gotten turned in another life with Michael B. Jordan for a whole different generation into three sequels, about to be four. That is what an actor on any level or tier would want. You know, he started off, I remember watching Bucktown with him, Fred Williamson, because Fred Williamson was a former football player. And he was like a catalyst for that, along with Jim Brown, O.J. Simpson. But Carl Weathers took more of an action role, which I would say between Wesley Snipes, Samuel Jackson, Vin Diesel, and The Rock owe a nod to him because... <clears throat> He was a he was suave as a as an as a as a that type of an actor. He put some street to it, but he had a certain style. But then he became iconic with Apollo Creed and of course with Predator and other things he's done with TV. But make no mistake about it, when you have a character that's iconic, that's what I it's like when I talk about music. And some people get upset with me because I said they ain't got no money track. It's like winning a championship or a title. Can't nobody take it away. They might not like you. But you got a signature. Apollo Creed's a signature. That's just a fact. Carl Weathers, and he, of course he did a spin I remember on Good Times. I still one of my favorite episodes when he picked up JJ and he said, this rack of bones here, who his wife was a model posing. But he showed versatility. He had a real natural brother instinct. And one thing about him, he was a brother's brother. He carried himself like a strong black man, just like John Amos does. And he still, still got John Amos. But Carl Weathers was the truth. And he showcased versatility. He made those movies credible. You know, the black and white role. Actually, when you think about him and Sylvester Stallone, they did that before there was Lethal Weapon. But the thing is, is that how often do you see a movie where the side character, who's not even at that time when Talia Shara, who was big from The Godfather, and uh, Burt Young was big as well, and Merges Burg uh, Merit of Burgess, when you get someone like Carl Weathers who comes along and this character's created, and then it becomes such a phenomenon that the, everyone talks about that it takes a life of its own. <clears throat> that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes. That shows you the depth that he left on the audience and that you could create that character. And we're talking like when the, when Creed came out, it was about five, six years ago. We're talking about 40 years later. That man left a mark. And he was a down-earth cat. So he will definitely be missed in all the roles he did. I was watching Bucktown for about the 30th time because that's one of my old school favorite movies he was in. Carl was always cool. Action Jackson with the, with uh, Denise Matthews, formerly known as Vanity. Used to watch that all the time, too. The brother was always cool. Stayed smooth, did his thing. And you could tell he didn't really highly trick because he didn't keep, he kept his business on the low. But he will be missed. Prayers and thoughts are with Carl Weathers' family, friends, and fans worldwide. I'm out.